In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite little quads passing concepts. This is a really good complement to a lot of the things that we've been doing um, to basically run the bunch quads or the bunch halfback strong. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to do that. And in Madden 22, we are committed to uploading videos every single day uh, that can help you get better on both sides of the ball. So if you want to get better at this game, hit subscribe. And also, I wanted to let you know about an exclusive offer in our True Fan membership. For those of you that have joined our True Fan membership and will be a part of our True Fan membership day one of Madden 22. So, if you join the True Fan membership today, the link's in the description to be able to join it. Not only are you going to get the perks of the True Fan membership, which is a, a weekly update that basically updates you about the offensive meta, the defensive meta, and also takes a specific interest in breaking down pl pro players and what they're running in the tournaments. Um, so you can get access to all that content. Not only are you going to get that every week, um, so that's 12 videos every single month, but you're also going to get my first offensive ebook and my first defensive ebook for Madden 22 completely free of charge. So for five bucks a month, you can join that TrueFit membership. You can cancel it at any time. It's a $30 value for just five bucks. We're saving you a ton of money. So if you want to get access to my first offensive and defensive ebook in Madden 22, I'd encourage you to join the True Fan membership today for just five bucks um, before August 12th. So you have to join before August 12th. And on August 12th, we'll be releasing that um, first guide to you guys. Now let's talk about Bunch Halfback Strong. This is a really fun, um, a really, really, really fun passing concept. You can do this out of any play from this formation. Um, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to run anything in particular. Um, I personally, you know, if again, you don't have to use any of the plays, so I'm not going to really worry too much about any of these routes. None of them are that special. Um, it's really more of a formational thing, and you do need Hot Route Master for this. Um, if you don't have Hot Route Master, what I would recommend is to use the play uh, PA Bunch uh, PA Bunch Shot. So we're just gonna come out of that just so you can see this. But basically, real simple setup. Um, it's really, really good though because a lot of people are gonna really start to put a lot of resources on this um, on this bunch side. And so this is a great play if they're starting to do that. So all we're gonna do is we're just going to take the square receiver and honestly, we're actually gonna leave him on his default route. We're not gonna change him. Um, if you wanted to, you could put him on a fade but we're not going to, we're just gonna leave him on the route that he's on, okay? And I wanna show you what happens. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put the X on a drag. We're gonna put the R1 on a hitch. We're gonna put the back on a wheel route or a flat, it's up to you. Okay, I like the wheel. And then we're gonna take the circle receiver and we're gonna put him on a post, just like that. And this is basically mesh post, but you've got this wheel on the back side of this. So all we're gonna do is motion this guy all the way out to the numbers and snap the ball. And what you're gonna see is we're gonna get really, really, really glitchy um, spacing. And this actually is gonna create a very unique type of bomb um, that potential, especially against cover four. You will see a lot of cover four when you're running this offense because people, everyone knows how good the Z spot is. This post is a very deep post route. It's not a shallow one. So Z spot, we make that kind of like almost a shallow post. This one is a real deep post, and you're going to see that it's going to really kind of take the top of the defense. This wheel route does a good job of holding, and if you watch this post, you'll see it gets a little step on the cover three, and as you can see, we're able to beat this over the top. Now, that real quick, that's cover three. Um, this is also really good um, against cover four. So if I'm running uh, cover four, show two, I just want to show you the route to really to square. But again, we get this motion out. We have these underneath passing concepts that are really good. But if you watch what this does to cover four, you see, and it gets a step on him, and he gets over the top. Now, let me show you that. Again, that bomb is, is kind of a, a play that you do need a little bit of time on. So this is something that you really want to run, especially if they're dropping a lot of people back every play. You know, you get a look like this. Um, this hitch, drag, wheel, and post concept is really good. Um, you're going to see it's going to do a lot of damage to vertical hook zones. Um, this hitch is going to be really a great read. But watch, you see he gets over the top of that. And again, Mike Evans is kind of being a, a little bit of a uh, not, not getting where he wanted to get. But 
you'll see here, and I'll just try to show it to you one more time. Typically, that bomb play is going to be open. You just have to wait a little bit on it. Um, so you'll see here. Just kind of motion them out just a little bit. And you see he gets a step on him over the top, and we're beating cover four. So we're able to beat cover three. We're able to beat cover four. Let's go over Tampa two. Uh, Tampa two, I think, is probably, honestly, if, if someone is playing this against you, um, you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, you, there's just so much you can do against cover two from this. And most people are going to have to resort to cover two to try to defend this offense. But I want you to watch this post. You'll see here that that middle guy is going to, he will go deep, um, as you see. So you're not going to be able to get over the top of that post if you run it that way. But there is another way to do this. This is a very specific, uh, very specific bomb against cover two. So it's not something that, again, it's not something that I would recommend necessarily. Um, you know, but basically all we're going to do is we're going to hitch and then we're going to actually take the circle receiver on this play and we're going to put him on a motioned out um, flat. So we're just going to use a flat route, real simple. Um, you could also use a hitch and a flat from R1 if you wanted to. But this is going to kind of be more of like an isolation bomb. And you'll see that middle uh, safety. See how he gets over the top of him? Even though that's a safety, he gets a step over the top. And really it's because of this, um, it's because of this underneath zone. So let me show it to you again. And I'll show you some other things we can do once we kind of show you the initial bomb and how we can kind of build off of this. But basically drag, flat, hitch, okay? And that's it. Now, um, if you don't want to motion snap, it's probably even a little bit better. But when you motion snap, what you'll see is that it, it, it really does mess the grid up a little bit. So if I get him all the way up to the numbers, kind of motion snap, you see that deep half goes left. And if you watch him, it doesn't quite get over the top on that one. Let me show you one more time. And then you can also use, um, there's another route that you can use that is a slant route. Um, and the reason why I like a slant route is because a slant route is going to kind of uh, pull him just a little bit more so again we'll just do um, we'll actually do it like this probably um, something as simple as this right here I mean this is this is really simple right here and we'll just use a wheel just cuz so snap the ball it's real compression thing and see how he gets over the over the top and he doesn't quite get over the top there but and that's all right um, I, it might be a play wreck thing but he does get over the top some he's just not getting over the top right now for us but anyways, it's not that big of a deal because Tampa 2, um, if you're facing a lot of Tampa 2, you're not, you know, you're, you're going to run verticals, which is fine. Um, let me just show it to you one more time. And if it doesn't work, we'll move on from this, uh, this play here. So we'll just do that setup. And again, just watch the post. And he actually does a good job. I mean, we got close to having a step on him, but that, that backside safety came over. So not a big deal. Um, but Tampa 2... The original way we set the play art up with the drag, hitch, post, wheel concept, um, you're either going to have your post over the top or you're going to have, whoops, accidentally ran commit, you're either going to have your deep post or you're going to have your shallow post. And really, if you look at that deep post more as a um, more as a pull route than anything else, I think that's the best way to look at it um, because you're going to see that, you know, there's every now and then you'll have it. But really, the route that you're looking to hit is the circle receiver because um, the, the user is going to be going to the drag or he's going to be going to the deep post. And so you'll see, look how open that post route is underneath. You know, really open. If that happens to be the user, um, and that's something that's really important to understand. So let's say you're playing traditional cover two and that happens to be the user and that user wants to stop that intermediate post. This is where this, is where this play can really become good, especially because, again, a lot of people are just going to be sitting in the middle of the field. They have to make a decision um, either way, but that wheel route will do a really good job. And then look at how open that post is if they don't drop a deep middle zone. So if they don't drop a deep middle zone, that's a dot. It's, it's going to be open every time. Uh, man coverage is actually um, pretty good as well. Um, this is pretty good to play as well. Uh, obviously, your drag is going to work. Your wheel is going to work. Pretty much everything on the left is going to work. But if you watch this post to square, um, this is a really good uh, beater. Again, over the top, just pass lead it up, and you see there he's getting in a real tender, real tender zone, a real tender um, spot against the zone coverage. Let me show it to you again, and let me just kind of get 
some guys off of my pressure. So again, we're just kind of doing this number. Motion out, and I accidentally rank commit again. I don't know why I always accidentally run commit in these, but you'll see here, man coverage, it's really good. Um, and really one of the things that makes it really unique is let's say they play shaded up man. Let's say they play shaded up man. They're not gonna think that circles on a post because he's such a it's such a deep route. They might just think, oh, he's on a he's on a fade. So they just let him go, and then look at this inside position, and you're hitting over the top. That's just something real subtle that you can mix in. This was meant to be kind of more of a shot play. Um, and then let me show you uh, one last thing, and this is if you don't have. Uh, hot route master how to use this play so if you don't have hot route master all you're going to do is basically just don't do the circle receiver so you everything else is the same and now we're just going to motion this guy out to the numbers and now he's just a basically a deep crosser and you'll see what he does here same exact kind of spot on the field it's just a little different and it's not as good against man as that original post is um, last thing I want to go over is Mabel coverage just real quickly because uh, we didn't spend a ton of time on that. Uh, but if you get a Mabel look, what you're going to see is because of this post and because of everything that you're running here um, with the drag and everything, watch this R1. You see how he holds the yellow and you can throw the post on behind it. You basically have a high low between those two. If you leave the, if you leave the circle route uh, compressed, so one way you could do this, it's just another way you can run the play. But one way you can do this is you leave the circle receiver compressed and what you'll get is this right here. So he'll really pull the yellow more so. And now you see you've got the post late in the play. So, you know, this is just something that is really good of mixing things up. It's a mesh play. Um, I find that this is a great play to go to uh, once they start to run a lot of cover two because they have to choose one of the two post routes or you have so much underneath as well like this is a great concept for the blitz it's a great concept because these routes get over the field really quickly but basically this hitch post wheel the wheel route does a really good job of pulling these seam flats out of the way so you'll see you got a seam flat here see how open that post route is so that's what i like about it is it creates a lot of uh, just a lot of openings within this concept. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Um, this has been the PA uh, shot out of quads. It's a great look. It's really good against cover four and cover three. Uh, cover two, it's still good. It's just you're not going to get as many one play scores, but you're going to get a lot of stuff underneath. So thanks for your thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you want to get that true fan membership before Madden 22 comes out, I would highly recommend it because you're not only going to get the all the great content that we already have in there, but you're also going to get our first offensive and defensive guide of Madden 22 completely for free. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the true fan membership, there is a link in the description for you to be able to get that, that uh, membership.